O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for He is the Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we join our brothers and sisters who are celebrating today the Lunar New Year. We pray that the entry of this year may become filled with happiness and blessings coming from our Lord Jesus Christ. And we also welcome and uh, one with our brothers and sisters from the Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals as we pray for them and the start of their mission to preach the good news to everyone. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God has made. The serpent asked the woman, did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, you shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing for the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loin clothes for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden, at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife 
hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledge my sin to you. My guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter. From distress, you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom, you will ring me round. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Please stand. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened his speech impediment was improved, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As uh, many of uh, our brothers and sisters are celebrating the opening of a new year for the lunar calendar, our readings today speak about opening. The two stories that we have heard from the Bible today speak of opening. But there is a difference. In the first reading from the book of Genesis, 
who opened the eyes of Adam and Eve? Was it God? No. It was the serpent, the evil one, who opened the eyes of Adam and Eve. In the gospel, this is different. It was Jesus who opened the ears and the mouth of the deaf and mute person. And so, I ask every one of us, do we allow Jesus to open the ear for us or the devil the evil one, to open the year for us. Whom do you choose? Is it God who should open the year for you? My dear brothers and sisters, if Jesus will open the year for you, then it will truly be an opening that frees you. But if it is the devil or the evil one that will open the year for you, then the whole year will be filled with the evil one. Let us allow, not the serpent, let us allow Jesus to always open the way for us. If Jesus will open the way for us, then we are sure that it is truly an opening, a true opening that will happen. Kung titingnan po nating mabuti, doon sa Ebanghelyo, nung binuksan ni Jesus ang bibig at pandinig noong may sakit, pagkatapos noon, nagtatatakbo siya. Nagpahayag siya ng salita ng Diyos because He was free. Jesus opened him. But in the first reading, when the serpent opened the eyes of Adam and Eve, they hid themselves. Baliktad po, ano? Binuksan ni Jesus yung pandinig at pananalita ng tao. Nabuksan siya. Nagpahayag siya ng salita ng Diyos. Pero sa unang pagbasa, binuksan ng serpent yung mata ni Adan at Eva, hindi sila naging malaya. Bagkos, baliktad, nagtago tuloy sila. So, if you want this year to be truly a year of freedom, of happiness, of blessings, then... Let us allow Jesus to open the year for us. But if you allow the evil one to open yourselves and your year, then the whole year round, you will hide yourself. <laughs> because it is not Jesus who opened the year. And my dear brothers and sisters, as we ask Jesus to open this year for us, let us also allow ourselves to open the way to God to others. Let us allow ourselves to be used by Jesus so that we could open the way to God for other people. Hayaan sana natin ang ating mga sarili na gamitin ng Diyos ang ating kakayanan nang sa gayon tayo rin naman ay magbukas ng daan ng mabuting balita sa ibang tao. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the challenge also for us. If Jesus opens the year for us, then let us allow also ourselves to be used by Jesus to open the year for others, to open the year for goodness, compassion, and mercy. Today, we are joined by uh, our brothers and sisters from the BCBP. No? They have a group. No? 
the Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals from Santa Rosa na chapter. Ano ba ang gawain nila? No? They are in business, they are professionals, but they open the way to Jesus even in business and even in their own profession. Parang sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon na kahit sa mundo ng negosyo, ekonomiya, at kahit politika, kayang pasukin yan ni Jesus. At kayo ang magiging instrumento ni Jesus para mabuksan ang mundong ito kay Jesus. Kasi ma- ang mundo minsan ng business, professional world, yan ang gustong-gustong pasukin ng serpent. So, we thank you for saying yes to this mission of opening, of making ourselves instruments of Jesus to open the world of business and professionals to Jesus. And this is also a warning to us not to be of use to the serpent. Baka baliktad naman ang nangyari, no? Baka minsan magamit tayo ng kaaway para buksan ang daan ng mga tao sa masama. No? Kung makikita po natin sa kwento, yung serpent, ginamit niya yung opening. Sabi niya, you will have wisdom. You will have intelligence. Ginamit pala niya yung wisdom. He saw that as an opening for the evil work to come in. Let us not allow the evil one to come in. And let us not allow ourselves to be used by the evil one to use even wisdom and understanding for his own benefit. Minsan nagagamit pati yung talino natin para sa masama. Ang tawag dyan ay, sabi nga natin sa salita natin minsan, no, wise. No? <laughs> yung wise. No? Hindi naman talaga wise yan. No? Mandaraya. No? <laughs> Ibig sabihin, yung talino nagagamit hindi sa kabutihan kundi sa kasamaan. No? So let us be careful about this. We might be used by the devil, the serpent, to be an entry point of his evil works. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist, we thank the Lord for the gift of His blessing for the start of the Lunar New Year, and we ask Jesus to open this year for us. And we know that if Jesus opens the year, then it will truly become a year of freedom, a year of blessings, a year of good news, like the good news that happened with the person who was healed. And let us also allow ourselves to be used by Jesus to open the way to the gospel for other people. In this Mass, we pray for one another that Jesus might open our hearts to the good news of His kingdom. Amen. Please stand. We read in the Gospel that Jesus responded to the needs of the deaf man. With confidence, we now pray to God the Father to fulfill all our petitions and needs. For every intention, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church and her members may be receptive to the healing message of the Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may open our ears and our hearts to the pleas of the poor, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer, that we may always use the gift of speech to proclaim the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who care for the deaf and the dumb may be encouraged by the sensitivity and kindness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the dead may rest in peace and may those who mourn be comforted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and for people who ask for our prayers. Eternal Father, heal our selfishness and open our hearts to receive the good news of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things, to sustain us in our frailty. Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. As we face our Lord Jesus in the sacrament of his body and blood, let us remember that we are facing the Lord of all creation, the Lord of all time, and let us entrust to him the whole year because we know that he is our Lord and King. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration today and even those who are watching us through our online streaming. Thank you for always joining us and sending us your help and support always. And uh, we also thank those who are celebrating and joining us today as you celebrate the Lunar New Year. We pray for blessing, good health, and happiness within your families. And uh, to all my fellow Filipino Chinese, to niman sin yen kwai le, shen ti jian kang, he jia huan le, tian zhu bao yo, yong hi, yong hi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy now and forever. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.